you beautiful people out there. Today I'm going to do something that is a little different. I'm going to do the cinematic trailer that Tom has on his two new albums just dropped. Somebody had mentioned that I should cover that one, so we're going to take a look at it, and uh, I don't think there's any music in it, but we'll see what it's like. Here we go. State your age. 32. State your country of residence. United States of America. State your name. Tom McDonald. Under Section 4A of the Restrictions on Freedom Act, established by the International Police in February of 2022, you have been found to be in violation of several civil disobedience bylaws, inciting public distrust of the government, solicitation of confidential information, anti-institutional rhetoric, unauthorized assembly of civilians with the purpose of protest, and amplifying social unrest. You are a threat to world safety and therefore you are being charged by the international police for the aforementioned disobediences. How this doesn't seem like it's too far off um, from what's really happening, uh, especially in Australia. I just saw a clip um, where now people have to send a selfie and if they get a phone call basically from the government, they have to answer within five minutes and show a selfie of where they are if they don't, then they send the health authorities to your house to make sure you're there and uh, basically round you up and take you to um, quarantine camps. So this says for 2022, well, hopefully not in the US, but yikes. And amplifying social unrest. You are a threat to world safety and therefore you are being charged by the international police for the aforementioned disobediences. How do you plead? You know what you call disobedience? You know what we used to call that? Freedom. And what you call inappropriate, I call necessary. And what you call lies and conspiracy and anti-institutional rhetoric, I call that the truth. <laughs> you guys really think you run the world, huh? You think you can just bully everyone and cancel everything? You think you can just push us around so we all fall in line? <laughs> Here's the thing. I've been fighting for the world for a long time. For the losers and the rejects and the outcasts and the forgotten. For the abused and the unwell and the disenfranchised. Calm down, Mr. McDonald. No, I've been fighting for our freedoms and our safety and our survival and the way that we remember the world used to be. I've been fighting for the world. Sit down. No, I'm not going to sit down. I won't shut up. I will not quit. I will not back off. I won't let you destroy everything that people have spent their lives trying to build. I have fought for the world for all my life, but do not think for a second that I will not fight against it. That's why you're here. That's why you will never leave here. <laughs> that said lies detected zero. All my life, but do not think for a second that I will not fight against it. That's why you're here. That's why you will never leave here. <laughs> you think you can stop me? You really think you can stop me? It's been me against the world since I was old enough to think. War, famine, natural disaster. The world has fought it all and won. The world is undefeated. We are undefeated. One man will not change that. You see, that's, that's where you screwed up. They say with great power comes great responsibility. You know what else comes with great power? Ignorance careless mistakes. The ability to vastly underestimate the people who you have power over. And I am not alone. You can lock me up, you can hide me away, you can shoot me down like a dog in the street, but I promise you, you cannot kill me. My word, my message, my vision, my spirit will live on through Hangover Gang forever. And you know what? 
I guess you're not the only one making mistakes. Because when I said it was me against the world, I was mistaken. It's not me against the world. It's us against the world. But to answer your question, not guilty. Uh, that's great. With the craziness that's going on in the world today, uh, this is pretty accurate, I think. Um, I think in people's minds, sort of the coming uh, restrictions and um, man, I try not to think negatively like that. I try to not uh, go to that dark place. But um, when we see what's happening in other countries, like I said, especially Australia, it's pretty scary how they literally have no rights. I saw a guy get arrested for not having a mask on outside while he was having a cigarette. And he lived just around the corner from where he was getting sandwiches that day. So you can't be outside without a mask in Australia uh, or you get arrested. So uh, it is, it's us against the world. It's not one man. And um, yeah, we need to see the writing on the wall. And if you think that it's uh, not happening, then you're not watching the right alternative news media. So um, this was good. He's a good actor. Thanks for joining me, everybody. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.